What's up, Christ United Kids? I hope you're having an amazing day. We are going to jump into God's Word together. I hope you've got your Bibles out. But first, let's practice our verse for this week. Are you ready? James 2, 17. In the same way, faith by itself, if not accompanied by action, is dead. How'd you do? Awesome. So, this verse is saying that when we say that we believe in Jesus and we've asked him to come into our hearts, then we are going to have action. Our good deeds, we're going to go and do good deeds. We're going to love people the way that he's called us to. We are going to go out and do. I hope you've got your Bibles. We're in 1 John. 1 John chapter 3. And we're actually going to start with one of our memory verses that we have learned. 1 John chapter 3, we're going to start in 16, and we're going to go for a few verses. All right? See, you guys should know verse 16. Remember, it says, this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone, verse 17, guys, listen to how clear this is. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother in need but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but in actions and in truth. All right? So, James or John is reminding us, reminding us that when we have things and we see people that are in need, guess what? We are called. We are called um, to love them, to help them, to give them what they need. Go back and say, dear children, let us not live with words or tongue, but in actions and in truth. This is exactly the same thing as what James said. That faith all by itself, loving God and saying that we love, we love God. Guess what? That's not, that's not, we don't love God. We don't truly love God with our heart, our soul, our mind, and strength if we are not out there loving people and not just saying that we love them, but using action to love them. So let's do a check today. All right. How are we loving? The people, how are we showing the people in our house that we love them? Not saying that we love them, that's important too. But how are we showing our mom, our dad, our brothers, our sisters, our grandparents, our aunts, our uncles, the people that we're around all the time, how are we showing them that we love them? All right? So it's important for us to start with the people around us first, but then we know that we're called not to just love the people that are in our family. We're called to love everyone and we need to show them love. So we're going to pray and we're going to ask God to open our eyes, to open them up wide, that we would be able to see the people around us who need something that we could help with. Maybe somebody needs help carrying groceries in. Maybe somebody needs help um, pulling weeds. Maybe one of your neighbors is doing yard work and you could go over and talk to them. Maybe somebody just needs a kind word or a card. Maybe there are things everywhere that we can do. There might be somebody that you could ask your parents to buy a meal for, make a meal for. Maybe you need to go through your toys and your clothes and give some of your toys and your clothes to kids that don't have toys and clothes and your parents can help you with that. There are all kinds of ways that God is calling us not to just love people and say it, but to show it, to have some action with it. So let's pray for that. Dear Jesus, we thank you so, so much. God, we thank you that you love us so much, that you died on, this cro on the cross for our sins. God, we thank you that you live in us. And God, we pray that starting today, that you would open our minds, that you would open our eyes to see the people around us that need to be shown your love. Help us to love people, not just with words and with tongue, but with action. God, give us the action to do today. 
And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys and girls, I will see you tomorrow for another daily devotion. See you then.